Hi guys, my name is Calvin Bacon and today I'm going to be showing you how to create some grass collisions in Maya with paint effects, as you can see here. So to start, what we're going to do is create a plane. I'm just going to scale that up, then go to generate while selecting the plane and go to make paintable then back to generate, get brush and select a brush that we like. Now I want some grass so I'm going to go to grasses, select the grass clumped which I quite like, press B, left click and scale up and start painting. Now once I've filled the ground plane I'm going to let go, it'll create a clump as you can see left and what I'll do next is create a sphere. Scale the sphere up. Move it to my location. Let me just, there we go. Now I'm gonna just start animating it straight away. So I'm gonna go back to frame one, press S to set a keyframe, then go to frame 100, move the ball to the right, and it will automatically set a keyframe as I have auto key set. Now, what I'm going to do next is select the stroke with my sphere together, go to generate and make collide. Now you might have seen something happen around the ball. Now collisions are activated. So if I move to a different frame where the ball is moved, you can see the grass move around the sphere. And voila. Lovely. So let's just undo that to get rid of the keyframe. And you can see it's taking a very long time to calculate everything. So we're going to just create an Alembic cache. To do that, we're just going to press the sphere, select the stroke, go to cache, Alembic cache, export selection to Alembic. So I've already created an Alembic cache to speed things up. So I'm just going to create my objects, hide them by pressing Control H, going to cache, Alembic cache, import Alembic, select my Alembic, import and voila. Now we will have, oh, some things left over. Let me just hide that. Now we have a perfect smooth animation with the grass collisions. To get a great shader, all you really need to do is select your grass assigning material. Um, what you saw earlier was done in um, was done in Redshift, but at the moment I've got Arnold, which is just great as well. So create a standard surface. For the base color we're just going to create a nice green, not too green, something between yellow, there we go. A bit darker, maybe a bit more in the yellowish, there we go, beautiful. Go to our transmission tab, um, bring that to like 0.3 for now. Color, we want a nice bright green when the sun shines through, maybe not that bright. There we go, lovely. That's fine for now, and let's just give that a test. Obviously, you want to spend a bit more time. This was a test I did earlier, as you can see, um, and I'm just going to let this shot render right now. Uh, of course, there is nothing to see because we haven't created a light yet, so we're just going to do that quickly by going to the Arnold tab, Lights, and create a quick Sky Dome, lovely. Now let's give that another shot, and voila, beautiful. And that's it. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.